Welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. This summer, I'm shamelessly promoting the gorgeous country that I've called home since 2017. So please enjoy this footage while I shamelessly tell you something else. I use and enjoy Microsoft's OneDrive. My endgame is to someday migrate over to Nextcloud for all of my syncing needs, but right now, OneDrive does the job and does it pretty well for my own personal needs, especially since I use multiple operating systems and mobile devices. But my daily driver is Linux, which is why I'm thrilled to show you an easy, straightforward way to sync up your OneDrive files to your Linux PC. In today's video, yes, we are taking a quick break from gaming and we're talking about a great little app called OneDriver. Let's dig in. Before we do get started, I wanna thank Tuxedo Computers for making this video and all of this content possible. They have invested in Linux for Everyone with a long-term partnership that allows me to focus on this channel more and more, and I am super grateful. Better yet, it is an open partnership, and what that means is you'll still get hardware coverage from other Linux PC companies like Juno Computers. I just received two of uh, Juno Computers laptops in for review, so hit subscribe if you want to see those upcoming videos. You can also watch my recent coverage of Tuxedo's Infinity Book Pro 14 laptop with its incredible display, or head over to tuxedocomputers.com to check out their entire range of Linux laptops and desktops. So, OneDriver is really cool, at least based on the few days I've spent with it. I should mention up front that OneDriver isn't really a sync client. It's more of a network file system for Linux that gives you access to your OneDrive data. Here is what sets it apart. It supports multiple OneDrive accounts. I only have one account, but it's nice to have that extra option if I ever need it. OneDriver has bidirectional sync. So when you make a change inside of OneDrive, that change will show up on your local PC. Not always immediately, but typically within just a few seconds. And if you make a change inside of the local folder that you've designated for OneDrive, that gets reflected on your OneDrive account. But the feature I most appreciate, especially being here at the sea this summer with limited bandwidth, is that files are only downloaded when you want to use them. It would be a nightmare for me to have all of my bandwidth clogged up by a client instantly downloading gigabytes of data. My music folder alone is more than 100 gigs. And Microsoft's whole selective sync setup, it always bothered me. Just show me everything and let me access it when I need it. So here are both of those features in action. Uh, the new Radeon 6600 XT graphics card, it's on its way in for review, so I'm revisiting some data from earlier RX 6000 releases and prepping my spreadsheets. So I'm just going to access that file, and OneDriver quickly downloads it and opens it. I'm going to make a quick change to this field, save it, and there's that edit when I open it up directly from my OneDrive account. Now, earlier I mentioned that pair of Linux laptops from Juno Computers that I'll be reviewing soon. Well, I took some photos of the Neptune 15 on my phone, and I wanted to have them on my Linux rig for editing or for tweeting, whatever. So I tested sharing those photos to my OneDrive account from my phone, and voila, there they are on my Kubuntu 21.04 system. As far as installing OneDrive, it's really simple. So I'm not gonna explicitly cover it in this video, but rest assured, there are easy installation options for Fedora and Ubuntu-based systems. Oh, if you're using an Ubuntu-based 21.04 system, just choose the uh, deb package as the PPA doesn't have a release for 21.04 yet. And of course, OneDriver is available in the AUR for you Arch users. If you'd rather build it from the source, that's an option. And the developer's overall documentation is excellent. He also explains how to use OneDriver from the command line, if that's more your style. As always, I will have all the links that you need in the description of this video, right above a bunch of ways to connect with the awesome Linux for Everyone community on Telegram, Matrix, and Discord. So that is OneDriver, an elegant open source solution for interfacing with proprietary software. <laughs> 
hey, we use the tools that are right for us. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks a ton for watching. And let me know if OneDriver works for you down in that comment section. Until we chat again, you take care and take care of each other, okay? See ya.